All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. And man, I got to tell you, the big fight announcements, they're not slowing down. <laughs> I mean, we're only a few days out from Christmas, and this might be the biggest fight announcement in the women's divisions in probably the last, at least the last month. So Aaron Coldblooded Blanchfield will be taking on the number two ranked Tyler Santos in a UFC women's flyweight bout. It's going to go down at a UFC fight night on February 18th, currently scheduled for Las Vegas, Nevada. Blanchfield was on the morning combat show with Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell this morning, announced the fight uh, then and there. I said she had just signed a four-fight contract with the UFC, re up for four more fights, and announced that uh, she'll be fighting Tyler Santos. Now, at the time, she didn't announce the when or the where, but that has now come out since then. So February 18th in Las Vegas, Nevada, the number 10th ranked Blanchfield will be taking on the number two ranked Santos. That is a huge potential jump in the rankings for Blanchfield. This might be the biggest jump in the rankings I've seen the, the UFC grant uh, one of the ladies fighters. At least it is in recent memory. But this... There's a lot to like about this fight. There's a lot to dislike. I mean, there's not... No. Let me rephrase that. There's some things to dislike about it, but there's a lot to like about it as well. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the stats first. So, Santos, obviously the much more experienced fighter, coming in at 19-2. and two. Blanchfield coming in at 10-1. and one. Now, Blanchfield's only career loss came against Tracy Cortez at Invicto all the way back in February of 20. 19. Uh, Santos, of course, coming in off of the uh, split decision loss to Valentina Shevchenko when she challenged for the championship. That was about six months ago. Um, a lot of people thought she won that fight. Blanchfield most recently fought, you know, a little over a month ago, just destroying Molly McCann. I mean, just absolutely dismantled her in, I believe it was the first round. Blanchfield will be the younger fighter. She's 23. Santos is 29. Now, Santos will be the taller fighter at 5 feet 6 inches, 168 centimeters, to Blanchfield's 5 feet 4 inches, 163 centimeters. However, it looks like the reach is identical, 68 inches, 173 centimeters, but the height's going to cancel that out. So, if you were one of the people that thought that the UFC might have been using McCann's popularity to give Blanchfield a big boost. Looks like you were right. Looks like you were right. I was a doubter in that. I was thinking, no, nah, because I, I didn't see the justification for that theory in the amount of coverage that Blanchfield was getting leading up to that fight. But maybe they wanted to keep it low-key. I'm not sure. But Blanchfield went out there, destroyed a popular fighter in McCann, and now she is getting a big boost. I mean, we're talking about a potential eight ranking spots jump if she beats Santos. But that is a tall order. We're talking about someone who went neck and neck with the champion and the champion barely edged out Tyler Santos in that fight. And a lot of people thought Santos should have gotten that fight. So let's talk about these two fighters a little bit uh, on the feet. Blanchfield has made a lot of improvements since she first started 12 fights ago. But on the feet, the edge is definitely going to go to Santos. She's the cleaner striker. She puts her strikes better together. Blanchfield is, is still kind of like trying to put things together or learn how to put things together. And she kind of just throws stuff out there. Whereas Santos is much more controlled with her striking. Uh... She knows what she wants to throw. She knows what she's going to do with it or what she hopes to do with it. So the edge on the feet is going to go to Santos. The power. I'm definitely going to give the power advantage to Santos as well. She is, she is a big flyweight. She's hawking, uh, very strong. She's go going to have more power in her strikes as well. Uh, Blanchfield has m one knockout, and that was be a head kick against Leonard, uh, Victoria Leonardo back in Invicta. Now, on the ground, I think it largely depends on who can implement their game. 
Blanchard has an absolutely top-notch BJJ game, and she is very good on top, and not bad from bottom either. When she gets on top, she, she'll, she'll ground and pound. She will hunt for subs. If she's on bottom, she's still hunting for subs. I remember, you know, she kept getting taken down by Trace Cortez, but never stopped really hunting for the submissions. And uh, that was a pretty contentious fight, too, when she took on Cortez and lost. But man, the memory of Santos coming that close to beating Shevchenko because she was able to, you know, get the back control just over and over again the way she did. That's, that's hard to get out of your mind when you're evaluating this fight. So I really think on the ground, it's going to matter. It's going to be up to who can implement their game. And I think it's largely going to depend on who gets the takedowns. So it'll be interesting to see who tries to take it to the ground first. Uh, Santos might not even need to take it to the ground if she's winning on her feet. Now, I have seen her in the past where she's absolutely winning on the feet and then goes for takedowns anyway, so she might still try it. It's not, it's, uh, I wouldn't put it past her, but we'll see. Blanchard, I think, is going to want to get this fight to the ground more readily than Santos, though. Anyway, those are just my quick initial thoughts on this fight. Santos versus Blanchfield goes down in UFC Fight Night on February 18th in Las Vegas. I'm excited for this one. This was big news today. So let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. If you like the vid, please give it a like. Uh, it helps the algorithm. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.